Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my craft table. This is Miss Judy. I have a card to share with you today. Uh, it is absolutely a beautiful day in upstate New York where I am right now. Um, the leaves are changing and we have so many maple trees up here and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, so the card I'm doing today is kind of on the theme of the beautiful season of fall. I'm using the art booking, Cricut cartridge, some color block gold ink, and I'm using some little stash ribbon that I have and some uh, rhinestones on that. And I'm using paper from the new Huntington collection. It is absolutely a lovely collection. I'm doing this card and then I'm going to use another pattern right here and create another card. And I'm using the little end strip and the back piece that was left over for part of that decoration. But this card is a, a Z-fold card. Um, Mary from Cards TV did one with the Halloween theme, which was absolutely darling. And so I copied <laughs> the card pattern from her. You need a piece of paper that is five and a half by 12. And my scoreboard won't fit under here, so I'm just gonna tell you what you wanna do. I'm gonna turn this over so you can see a little bit better. You, you want to put it into your scoreboard and you score at four and one fourth and you score again at eight and a half, and then you score again at 10 and one fourth. Those are the folds that you get, you, you will be using as you fold the card. You fold it in, and then the bottom parts fold in like so. And so it creates this card that is a Z shape, and it will sit up and it makes a pretty shape. So let's decorate. What I'm doing first is on this little bottom piece, I'm going to put a piece of ribbon that I've used a few rhinestones on that will fit on here. And I'm just gonna tape it onto the back. Oh, I did, I'll show you in just a minute. I keep forgetting to tell you all the things that I've done to my cards, but I'll get it. I'll get it to hold in just one minute. Let me get this on here. And I can't tell you how long I've had this ribbon trim <laughs> because I can't remember. So I won't tell you. I've had it a long time. I'm finally using some. I think it's really pretty, but I just haven't used very much of it. So this is the trim on the bottom of the card. Also around the card, I used my um, Crocodile Corner Crimper from We Are Memory Keepers. And I have one that has two designs. It has a scallop and it has a cloud. So I used the one that says scallop and I went around all four of the edges and this is such a strong tool that you can use it um, without even having to open up anything. It cuts through layers and layers. Okay, here's my pumpkin that came from the art booking cartridge on page 73. Now, I did this in the Cricut craft room. And what I did, I just popped it up. And of course, these are fixed for fitting the albums and the layouts. Or these are proportional to that. And so instead of changing any dials and blah, blah, blahs that I would forget later on to undo, I just sized it the way that I wanted the shape to be, the size of it. It ended up a 10.0, which seems huge, but it is not. So, if you use the Cricut Craft Room, you can size your things to the, whatever size you want. Or, 
you can do that real dial and all that other stuff, which confuses me. So, so you smart people will know what to do. This is what I did. <laughs> so this is my pumpkin. It turned out perfect at 10.0. And I'm going to adhere that just at the bottom onto my card. And I'll use my ATG gun to put that on. And it will go right here. I cut the icon, uh, the kind of a shadow layer, and then the shift is the top layer. I cut the back out of some um, kind of a brownish color and then the top out of an orange. And I used my gold ink, color block box pigment ink, and a sponge dauber. And I went around both pieces and that gave it just a little bit of a shine, which I kind of liked, just to <coughs> set it off a little bit. And then the other part, my sentiment, I used the title, um, Autumn and Harvest, the shift button from the art booking 73, page 73. And what I did was weld it together in the Cricut craft room so it made one piece. And I used that brown that's on the background of this and I also used my sponge dauber and my gold ink. And so you can see the difference. Here's just the brown and then here's the brown with some of the gold ink on it. I, you might be able to tell it a little bit of that. So I'm going to take this and use some zig two-way glue that's what i have on my table so i will use that and i will adhere that to the front of the card and press down on that and I have my card. It sits up. It looks very fallish, but subtle looking. I might have to put some little bit of glue under that. Very subtle looking, not flashy, just kind of very pretty um, to celebrate the autumn harvest. So thank you all so much for watching my video today. Um, I have close to my heart, 24 seven shopping, there's great buys in September or the little uh, three stamp kit that you can get if you spend $50. You can get that three sets for $10 extra and it's going like hotcakes. So if you want it, you better get busy and get them, girls. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love talking to all of you and I love talking to myself. Have a wonderful day. Happy fall, y'all. Bye.